Hi friends, it's Monica and let's do the mid-year freak out tag. So I did recently upload my top 5 books of 2022 so far, but I also wanted to see how my answers were for this book tag. So let's just get started. So question 1 is the best book you've read so far in 2022. Like I just mentioned, I did upload my video of my top 5 reads so far this year, but I think I'm just going to share the first two of my top five so far in this video. So the best books of 2022 so far that I've read has to be House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Maas and also in second place was The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. So these two books were my top two picks and I really like them both and if you want to hear more of my thoughts on why I will link that top five books in the description below and in that I above. Question number two is best sequel you've read so far in 2022. So I don't think I've read many sequels this year but one that does come to mind is The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Elizabeth Barnes. So that's the second book in the Inheritance Games trilogy. So The Hawthorne Legacy wasn't the best book ever ever read but it was really entertaining and I really love the mystery and the fun romance tensions that we get in that book with our main character Avery. And I actually did recently review the Inheritance Games and the Hawthorne Legacy in my dream wrap up. So if you're interested in that, I'll also link that in the description below. And I think I'll also toss in another best sequel of this year, House of Sky and Breath again, because it's like one of the only sequels I've read so far this year and I have really enjoyed it. Question number three is new release you haven't read yet but want to. So I do have a few new releases this year that I have really wanted to pick up but have not yet read. One of those books that I did pick up a physical copy of is Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. So this is a romance that features a 10 year age gap. There's also a golden retriever love interest and the opposites attract trope in this. And I think Chandler on booktube here also mentioned that she was quite surprised by this romance. Although I did pick this one up before I watched her video but that just made me more excited to get to this. And another romance book that I've been really, really hoping to get to is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. And I really hope this will be my next read after my current read. And I really do have high hopes for Book Lovers. Question number four is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Two books came to mind when I read this question. And the first one was The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. It's the final book in that trilogy. I just need to know who Avery ends up with and I guess I'm also reading for the conclusion of the mystery in that trilogy. I'm thinking to film a reading vlog for that one but let's see when I get my hands on a copy. But another book I really need my hands on is The Kingdom of the Feared by Carrie Maniscalco. This is also the concluding book in this that trilogy. Um, Kingdom of the Wicked and I'm simply really excited to see how everything wraps up with Amelia and Wrath and everything that's going on with them. Question number five is biggest disappointment. So with this one, this one book I was really excited for but it was unfortunately a huge disappointment and the book that comes to mind is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. So after reading Beach Read, I really did have high expectations for Emily Henry and and with going into People We Meet on Vacation, I was expecting a really cute rom-com but it ended up being quite boring and repetitive. I was hoping for sparks and excitement but it ended up with the couple kind of running around with each other for years and not really saying their feelings but I still have high hopes for Emily Henry. Question number six is biggest surprise. So this one has to be a deal with Elf King by Elise Kova because this is a romance fantasy and I was not really expecting if I would love it going into it but it was a pleasant surprise going into this book with how in-depth the world building was and I definitely will read more from this author. Question 7 is favorite author either debut or new to you. So this author that I'm going to be mentioning is new to me and I've only read one book so far from them and that is The Love Hypothesis by Abby Hazelwood. The writing was really easy to read and I simply got sucked into the story and I really can't wait to read um, Ali Hazelwood's backlist as well as her new releases that are coming out. Question 8, newest fictional crush. Thinking about this one, I think it will have to be Grayson Hawthorne from the Inheritance Games trilogy. He's the second eldest Hawthorne brother. I really liked how he's a little bit more mysterious compared to Jameson, but I am still really excited to see how the final gambit wraps everything up. Question 9 is the newest favorite character. I have to pick Shay from Jade City 
So she is the youngest call and the only daughter in the call clan family that we are following in this book. I liked how she was really defiant against tradition and she also spoke up against elders and also male figures in her life and she does a lot of strategic ways to gain respect from others and oh and it doesn't hurt that she can also fight. Question 10 is book that made you cry so the only book that really made me tear up this year was Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. So the entire situation that Kenna is in and missing her child, it really does bring tears to your eyes. It was really sad to me and although there is a good conclusion to the book, it was still really heartbreaking to see the main character go through all that. Question 11 is a book that made you happy. So this one is a recent read and it's The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. This one made me really laugh out loud and it's quite weird for me to laugh out loud while reading a book and I think this author did a perfect job of making the perfect rom-com book and there was really a lot of hilarious moments in this one. Question 12 is the most beautiful book that you've received or bought this year. There are two books that I have received this year. Thank you to Goldleaf Book Box from Instagram who sent me their book boxes and it included these two books I'm about to show you. They are Canadian book subscription box and I was really excited to work with them and let's just get on to the most beautiful books that I got this year. So first we have The Swollen Kingdom, A White Tahara Mafi, and it comes with the gold sprayed edges and there's also like gold foiling on the cover and it was a first edition so I have a signed copy. So that's one of the beautiful books that I got this year. And number two is Gallant by B.E. Schwab. So this one has red sprayed edges. It is also signed. And there's the same old little details there on the naked cover. And that was book number two. So if you are interested in that book box company that I just mentioned, I will link them down below. So question 13 and the last question of this book tag is what books do you need to read by the end of this year? I'm quite determined to finish off some series and that includes ones I have just started this year or ones that I just really want to finish. I'm going to list off The Greenbone Saga by Fonda Lee, that is the Jade City series. The Spin the Dawn duology and the Six Crimson Cranes duology, both by Elizabeth Lim. I read both of these, like the first books in these duologies, but I still need to finish off the second book. And of course, the Inheritance Game trilogy, which I'm really excited to finish off. And I think I've also tossed in Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy. So those are all the book series that I want to finish off this year and books that I really want to get to by the end of 2022. So that was a really fun book tag to do and just to see like where you are in the middle of the year and the halfway point of the year where you are during your reading journey this year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a good one. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell to not miss any future uploads. I'll see you all soon.